I'll probably just wait for Kujo signals and drop two lot sides on it. If I make it, I'll make it. If I blow it, so be it, right? Now, nah, let's be serious. I'm sure that's what most of you think when you think about how you're going to trade your $100 account, right? What is up, guys? It's Kujo Faris, aka GBP Emperor, aka Emperor of Blues. And today's video, I'm going to show you how I would be trading the market if I only had a $100 account. Now, as you may already know, I've been trading the market for a very, very long time. I've actually been trading the market for more than 10 years. And out of all my 10 years of experience, I've traded a small account of less than $100, $50, and so on. I've traded huge account balances of more than a million. So I have a very good experience when it comes to trading a teeny tiny bit of account balances and then trading huge account balances as well. It kind of all makes good sense that I've set up a new trading academy, which is a Kujo Forex trading academy located in West Ligon. West Ligon is a suburb of Accra, the capital city of Ghana. So if you find yourself in Accra, Ghana, you want to learn from my experiences in the market, then you might want to register for one of our monthly sessions. For the numbers below to make a reservation or reserve a spot for our next monthly session. Now let's come to how I would exactly trade if I had a hundred dollar account. The truth is $100 is a very small account for the forex market. No cap about that. I mean, we all have that trading mentor who you're going to ask, oh, how much can I start trading with? And all they're going to tell you is that, oh, you can actually start with a $50, $2, $10, whatever it is, right? <laughs> and then you feel like, okay, then that's what is really required to make any sum of big money in this market. But take this from me, $100 is nothing more than even a practice account. Nonetheless, if you really want to truly make money from $100, which is like turning it into something profitable, something reasonable, then this is the video that you have to watch, right? Do not skip this video. Watch it to the end and i'm gonna lay down all the secret that you need to know if you truly have no money and then all you have is a hundred dollars but still want to make a good living out of this market so first thing that i'll do if i personally had a hundred dollar account is consider my psychology when i say consider my psychology it's actually sitting down and speaking to myself and accepting my reality that hundred dollars is literally nothing in the market so in the first place i have to detach myself from any emotional attachment to that money because i'm putting it into the market and then accepting the fact that in this forex market nothing is guaranteed i could actually double my money in a day or in a couple of hours or I could actually certainly lose it all. So I first have to psych myself and detach myself from any involvement in this money. So once you're able to get that out of the way, then the next is to ask yourself, what strategy am I going to be using to trade the market, right? Are you a day trader? Are you a scalper? Are you a swing trader? Now, what all of them will do is pretty much determine how long you're going to hold it or how long before you even get any trade set up at all, depending on your strategy. Now, after you've considered exactly what strategy you're going to be using, what you have to ask yourself is that what setup in your strategy are you going to use? Let's say you're an indicator user or let's say you're a price action trader, right? You know that price action have various information beneath it right we have the support level resistance level trend line coming into play we have the key levels and then we have the chart patterns as well so you have to be able to determine exactly what setup you're waiting for when you're trading hundred dollars now that you're making some sense out of the setup you're looking for the next thing to think about is what lot size you're going to be using right because it is important right you have to pre-anticipate or predetermine what lot size you want to use when you find that setup and for the most part in the determination of a lot size to use mathematically as a trader is all according to the stop loss in pips that you're using for that trade setup and sometimes a little bit of leverage that you use but more on that later but for the purpose of this video i tell you exactly what i would have done what i would do is actually using a lot size of 0.01 now truth is 0.01 is the bare minimum lot size any trader can use on any account balance and what is available to us as traders you can't trade anything lesser than 0.01 right now 0.01 on a hundred dollar places me in a little bit of a comfort zone it means that worst case scenario i'm not going to blow my trading account just by sparking any opposite direction against me but once i've made it clear that i'm going to be using 0.01 and next thing i'm going to actually master or want to do is how to add on to more positions so after you found that setup that you're looking for you don't just want to throw in 0.01 and then go sleep you actually come back and not really make any reasonable amount of money but we're trying to make money that we can literally live off right so that's where the skill set of scaling in comes in in fact if you really want to master the art of scaling in even when you tend to start trading on a huge account then i believe that you really want to start that from that hundred dollar account because then you'll be able to be comfortably scaling in 0.01 on a hundred dollar account as far as the trade is going in your direction so let's go right into the chat and i'll demonstrate to you how i would practically be trading a hundred dollar account if that was only what i had in my trading account yeah guys so i already told you that if you really want to trade a hundred dollar account and you know that that's just the only money that you have available then you first want to pre-anticipate or predetermine what trading strategy that you're going to be using right and being that i'm the one teaching you this then i'm going to be using my same strategy that i use to be able to break this down hopefully you've been watching my videos for a long time and then you'll be able to follow along suit as well so let's say i have only a hundred dollars and i really want to trade this market what am i going to do first i tell you what i'm going to be determining that what trading setup do i want to trade am i looking for a double top formation am i looking for a double bottom formation am i looking for a third touch of the trend line formation am i looking for a fibonacci pullback am i looking for a break of structure am i looking for a breakout trade setup right so all i gotta do is just 
predetermine what I want to do before the week begins. And then once I determine that this is exactly what I want to do before the week begins, I do not compromise on it, right? What it means is that if I'm trading on a 4 hour, obviously you know that I'm not going to be getting so much of a trade setup as often as possible depending on the setup that I want. So let's say I'm looking for a double bottom scenario, right? And then all I'm looking for is a double bottom in all my currency pairs that I trade. I could be watching the whole market throughout the week and I wouldn't necessarily get that double bottom scenario. That means that my $100 is actually safe. I'm not going to place any trade on it. And then I could also be deciding that I'm going to be trading a double top similar to that head and shoulder pattern. Whatever it is, right? I am actually just going to be focus watching the market and determining that i want to see exactly that before i place any trade right so let's say in this example we're saying that we're going to trade a breakout how would i then be looking out for the market if i want to trade a breakout and what will be my thinking process along the line now for the purpose of this video we're going to be using us oil for our example i'm going to be using the same concept i'll be teaching you all this one right so let's say for us oil this is actually where the week actually began so when the week begins i'm actually going to be looking for the predominant highs and lows in the market and if we're talking about the lows it's actually here and then the high that we can identify is just the one around this range here right so once we've been able to identify that then all i want to do is wait for the market to come close to these regions and see how market is going to react around there if it gives me a reversal formation i'm actually going to go in, in the opposite direction when i say reversal formation all i mean is that let's say this market trades up to here and then it starts making any signs and signals around here that's going to drop then i'm going to be trading my 0 0.01 lot size just along this line all the way to this market comes back down nonetheless if it actually trades all the way down here and i see any reaction around here signifying that it's actually going to reverse and i'm going to actually buy this market and because it's a hundred dollar account obviously i got to make a decision before the week actually ends so i'm going to be imploring any knowledge any concept any strategy that i know including even breakout setups and then including even chat patterns whatever it is that actually convinces me that this market is actually going to go in the direction that i'm anticipating right so if you look at us oil already we can actually tell that this has been in a very huge downtrend already so it means that it would actually favor my buyers to really go short on this market than looking for long position on the market so let's see how exactly this one actually plays out right so if i use the forward play button we can see that what it's just been scrolling up and down and then consolidating and then it actually starts trading all the way down it hasn't actually reached any of my key levels that i'm looking for which is the extreme high and extreme low so i have to all always just be patient and see if indeed this market comes in the direction or in the range that I'm, I'm anticipating right that's what snipers do you have to always wait for the market to come to where you are predetermined or pre-anticipated before you take any decision on the market so upon continuing continuously watching this let's see yes now we come here and then indeed we actually break this level right and then upon breaking this level it is actually confirmed because this candle closed beneath the range you can actually see that the body of the candle is lying just beneath here right yeah indeed sometimes you can have still the body of the candle lying beneath here and then subsequent candles or subsequent movement on the market is actually going to reverse from this range and then have this market going all the way up i remember that i told you that already we are in a downtrend so it makes sense that if we've been able to break this structure and then the momentum is so strong then there's that edge and which also makes sense that i'd actually be looking for a short position than rather looking for a reversal within that range right so this is exactly where i'll start mounting my lunch on the market and on that hundred dollar account that i determined to put a lot size of 0 0.01 i'll be putting a lot more the more further down the market goes from this range the more lot size i'll actually be dropping in the more further down the market goes in this direction the more sales i'll actually be dropping in on that hundred dollar account and i'm still going to be maintaining my lot size of 0.01 so with that being understood let's see exactly how this market actually plays off so yes you can clearly see that from that breakout of that candle this market just continues all the way down making huge movement in the same direction and then you would have probably doubled your account or at least made a 50 percent increment on your account if you follow this now this is just a pattern of how i would have traded a hundred dollar account i'm going to be doing more videos in this same series and if you love me to do more content like this then smash the like button and subscribe to this channel and click in the link in the description to join the kojo telegram community we are approaching a 50k telegram community members also follow me on all social media at kojofres kojo forest we are also approaching 100k followers on instagram as well so without wasting my time i hope you guys really love this video i'm going to see you guys in the next one peace